Hey there, Internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with another episode of What I Feel Like Friday. Today, uh, inspired by the latest Hamill drop. Uh, if you are unfamiliar, uh, the ha Hamilton uh, and the people behind Hamilton, like Lynn manuel Miranda, um, they did the show, and then they kind of kept creating based off of the show. Uh, and so uh, probably about a year ago now, uh, they did the Hamilton mixtape, which was a collection of uh, uh, songs... Uh, inspired and inspired by the show as well as like performed by you know celebrities uh, celebrity talent um, of the show and uh, and recently they've continued kind of doing like monthly Hamill drops is what they call them and so it's like continued more songs inspired by the show and the Hamill drop that came out today was the uh, Hamilton polka uh, as performed by Weird Al Yankovic and it is in in one of his very kind of um, trademark uh, like collection an uh, anthology songs. Uh, it, it is like a whole bunch of songs from Hamilton um, uh, mashed together and done in the style of a polka with his you know accordion and whatnot. And I've probably listened to it twenty times today, um, and it's just been a ton of fun. It's a delight to to see kind of what he did with it and and how he you know mixed how he combined the songs and kind of the order he went and what little snippets of songs he chose. Um, and it just got me thinking about how great Weird Al is. Um, I've been a fan of his since uh, as long as I can remember. He is the very first concert I ever went to. Uh, he came and did. Uh, a concert in one of our, you know, as as part of our our state fair one year, and uh, my family kind of like our annual tradition was to go to the state fair, and uh, and so one year he came and and we made that our state fair day, and he and like we went to the state fair, and then we went to his concert, and that was probably the only concert I ever went to for like the next decade. I have never been much of a like live. Um, a musician concert person. I'll do I'll do like symphony stuff. Weirdly enough, um, especially um, now that they do more video game music concerts and stuff like that, I go to those. But I've only been to a few like other kinds of concerts in my life. Weird Al was one. Uh, Childish Gambino was the second, and that was when I was somewhere in college. Uh, and then uh, a few years back, I went to um, a bare naked ladies concert with a friend of mine. And that's pretty much been about it in terms of, like, music concerts that I've attended. And, and so Weird Al always stands out as, like, the first one. And I remember, um, like, I, I distinctly remember um, Running With Scissors kind of being one of the first albums I really, like, purchased and, and like, listened to nonstop. And then I went back from there and listened to a lot of his, his older stuff. I'd heard a lot of his older stuff, too, um, like, uh, of course, Fat and... Uh, um, and Eat It and um, uh, uh, Gangster's Paradise or Amish Paradise uh, it being his version of course um, I like I had certainly grown up with those but it wasn't uh, until um, uh, the American Pie parody that he did basically outlining the story of the Phantom Menace um, I remember listening to that like nonstop and watching the music video nonstop at my grandmother's house in the early days of the internet when we went to like a trip uh like a, a family trip back uh east to visit my grandmother in michigan i remember watching that video at her house like downloading it and watching it on repeat for for the longest time just like learning every every lyric to it and i did that with so many weird Al songs over the years and i'm sure some of them are still you know jumbled in there somewhere but um, yeah, just, I've, I've loved him for, for many years. I, he, like, I definitely fell out for a while, but then, like, he came back with something big, and I was like, I'm gonna go catch up on, like, the Weird Al stuff that I've missed. Um, uh, Skipper Dan is one of, like, my favorites of his newer songs, uh, talking about, basically, like, a failed actor, um, who basically makes his living on the Jungle Cruise ride now. Uh, it's, it, like, because I was effectively living that life, minus the going and working on the Jungle Cruise ride, um, it definitely resonated in a fun and engaging way. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of gush about Weird Al a little bit. His uh, his late latest uh, polka on Hamilton, phenomenal. Uh, I know that on uh, Jimmy Fallon tonight, um, they they were doing like lip sync battles to it. I haven't had a chance to sit down and watch that yet. I don't know if they've even put that up online yet, or if that's going to go up uh, tomorrow. What the plan is, but. Uh, yeah, just a ton of fun. Uh, Weird Al's just, I love that he's, like, st stood the test of time. He has outlasted so many of the people that he has parodied um, uh, in, in terms of, like, longevity of his career. So 
good on him. Uh, great, great performer, great uh, comedian. And uh, like from from having seen his concert, like it's it was amazing. Like he puts on a great show. Um, uh, especially like even back then when like he had his, you know, his handful of like well-known singles and stuff that he, you know, came out and kind of did them like, uh, 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 yeah, just ton of fun. Love, love the Weird Al, uh, love that they, um, you know, they, they, he threw in, at least back then he was, he would throw in like video segments that would allow him to do like costume changes and stuff. And then he would come out in the fat suit and do, um, fat and, and stuff like that. So yeah, good, good for him, uh, having such a, uh, a long and storied career and, uh, his, his latest was a ton of fun and I will probably listen to it many, many more times, uh, in the, in the weeks to come because I am a sucker for Hamilton. So, uh, let me know your thoughts of Weird Al in the comments below, some of your favorite songs. As always, I've been your host, Trevor Starkey from trevortrove.com. You can follow me at Snarky Starkey on Twitter and until next time from here at the Trove, treasure your friends.